two frontrunners for the Philippine Air Force multi-role fighter. The US F-16 Viper Block 70 and Sweden's JAS-39 Gripen E. Then comes another who might steal the show for the F-16 and JAS-39. Presenting the South Korean KF-21 Borame. The KF-21 fighter is putting itself up as a competitor in the multi-role fighter program of the Philippines. Yup. The FA-50's big brother might steal the show from the two. But before we delve into why KF-21 Borame became one of the candidates, let's pause for a moment and subscribe to our channel and like our video. Thanks. Philippines' ongoing effort to improve its air defense capabilities by purchasing brand new multi-role fighters for the Philippine Air Force. The Philippine Air Force is equipped with 12 FA-50 light combat aircraft which is not enough to defend the whole archipelagic nation. Korea Aerospace Industries, KI, has received a request for information, RFI, from Manila on the 4.5 Plus Plus fighter, and Shindong Hak, Vice President of Foreign Business Development at KI, said that KI is getting ready to respond. KI has continued its flight testing since the initial KF-21 flight in 2022, and the fifth prototype is currently in the skies. Manila has been involved in a prolonged multi-role fighter, MRF, competition, wherein Lockheed Martin's F-16 and Saab's Gripen are the leading contenders. The Philippines, which currently has 12 F-A-50s in service and plans to buy another 12, has shown a strong interest in South Korean defense products. Shin also said that talks with a Middle Eastern nation were ongoing, although he did not say which. As a junior partner in the KF-21 program, Indonesia is another important participant working to obtain an IFX version. Plans are still in place for IFX production between 2025 and 2029, with Indonesian aerospace handling local production, notwithstanding financial and developmental obstacles. Shin emphasized that the KF-21 will enter the Republic of Korea Air Force in late 2026 and that KI started mass producing the aircraft in early July. Last August 2022, Colonel Maynard Mariano, the Philippine Air Force's spokesperson, mentioned the KF-21 Borame as a possible candidate for the MRF project. Potential exports of the KF-21 and other defense equipment were discussed by representatives from South Korea and the Philippines during the DSA 2024 conference in Malaysia. Under the Philippines Military Modernization Plan, Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA, highlighted cooperative measures with a particular emphasis on the KF-21, FA-50, and submarines. Though funding for the program is still pending, the KF-21 is offered as a candidate for the MRF. According to Colonel Mariano, construction tailored to the Philippine Air Force requirements for 2027 to 2029 encouraged by KI if Manila chose to purchase the KF-21. The evaluations are the result of the Philippine Department of Defense, which at first evaluated the F-16 Block 70 Viper and the JAS-39 Gripen, but ultimately concluded that the KF-21 was a more cost-effective option. With 65% of its parts locally designed in South Korea, the KF-21 is famous for integrating cutting-edge technologies, such as an ASA radar and a sophisticated electronic warfare suite. But the majority of its armaments would come from MBDA. Colonel Mariano stressed the value of keeping an open mind to new technologies for integration and requirement process. He emphasized how innovative systems may efficiently meet defense requirements. The KF-21 presents itself as a viable contender to support Philippine air defense in the face of regional difficulties, particularly territorial claims in the South China Sea, while the final decision on purchasing new planes is still pending. However, if the Philippines choose the KF-21 according to some experts, the earliest that the Philippine Air Force can hold on to their KF-21, the earliest will be in 2030s. Is the KF-21 Borame a cost-effective solution to the Philippine Air Force? What do you think? Both the F-16 and the JAS-39 are both proven platforms. Will the KF-21 stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the two? Write your comment below. If you want to watch a video informative like this, click any of the two videos that will appear before this video ends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.